Hi, welcome to another edition of Fabric 5. Today is the fourth part of our series related to business continuity in fabric. I would highly recommend that as we start the session that you use your cap sheet in order to understand me better. Today's topic will be about what the impact of your home tenant settings are and why that matters when it comes to business continuity, disaster recovery, and related topics. So thank you for joining us today. Let's get started. While this topic is a relatively short conversation, it is important to understand the impact of your data reliability solutions in Fabric. When you or someone in your organization first creates a Power BI report or something similar, you will create Power BI in a region, and that will become your home region, whether it was intentional or not. This is particularly complicated for those organizations that have multiple geographic regions. It is entirely possible that your Power BI or Fabric home tenant was, or could be, created in a region that was not supposed to be used for your company. If you discover this to be true, it is recommended that you fix this as soon as possible, but it will require a call to Microsoft support. To find out where your home tenant is located, go to Power BI or Fabric and click on the question mark on the toolbar, like I show in the picture on the slide. This will show you your home region. When you create a Fabric capacity, Microsoft will try to create the capacity by default in your home region. The capacity you create defines where the consumable resources are located and where your data will be stored. Fabric does support multi-geo capacities. If you create a capacity outside of your home tenant region, you will get a warning to let you know that your data will be stored outside of your region and there may be some performance implications when you use this feature. This is due to the fact that certain metadata is always retained in the home tenant region. This includes permissions, certain credentials, and purview data maps. The key thing to remember here when you're looking at your recovery solutions in Fabric is that if you have data stored in other capacities in other regions, you will have a disconnected recovery solution. For example, if a disaster occurs for a region that does not have your home tenant, some of your solutions will continue working while other parts will not. It is very important to understand your overall data estate, including data in Fabric, so that you can handle disasters as needed in a good way. Like all good disaster recovery data management solutions, it's important to make a good plan and try it out as much as possible. Do not leave your solution to chance. It's your data and it's your business. I have shared links below related to these topics, including what is available with Fabric. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new about Fabric and data continuity. Like or subscribe if you enjoyed the session. Until next time, thank you for checking in.